Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the Red Wiggler Only Bins. I haven't looked in on them in probably a couple of weeks, so let's see what they've been up to. Alright, I have had the lid closed on them, uh, simply because of the moisture problems in the basement. And you can see, this is what you get from mostly paper and cardboard bedding. It is not the really dark um, material you're used to when people uh, feed leaves. That is normal uh, for paper bedding. So let's take a look in here and see what they've been doing. It might have been long enough ago that uh, we might not get a worm ball. Which is sad, but I've been busy. Life happens, you know. So let's kind of turn them around and, and see what's going on, make sure that everything's hydrated. Everything seems to be a really good moisture right now. It's not too wet. It's in the Goldilocks zone. Nothing anaerobic, nothing smells funny. Um, look like they're doing just fine. All right, getting all the way down to the bottom here. Turning things over. Still really good moisture all the way down to the bottom. Couldn't ask for better. Alright, I will keep my digging. It's kind of hard to see uh, cocoons with the multicolored bedding. Um, so if you see any, let me know. But let's see what I've got in the food department here. Uh, looks like a carrot. Completely unchanged. It's been weeks. It's kind of what I refer to as fast food versus not fast food. Um, root vegetables that have not been cooked or frozen take a very long time. I mean it's really good if you're going out of town and you want to give them food that will degrade while you're gone so they'll have something in the future but definitely not something they're going to find themselves happily munching on in a matter of days. Looks like the carrot that wanted to grow is continuing to grow and not degrade. Not seeing any other food though that I fed them. So if they had apple goo or anything else, I'm not seeing evidence of it. Oh, well, here's an avocado. So they're still making do with their little bit of avocado down here. But the carrot is doing nothing. I'm actually a little surprised it's not going faster than that. So the worms are not balled up anywhere. Oh, this is just a clumped piece of paper. I did get my coconut core in, so I should be able to make my normal bedding here pretty soon. Oh, something feels squishy. Oh, oh, okay. Well, it looks like we're getting a little bit of a worm ball. Uh, had some avocados go bad, like the whole avocado, so they're still in there munching after a couple of weeks. So that's good. I also smell a little bit of citrus, which looks like it might have been a lime once upon a time. And this carrot looks like they might have started doing something. Yeah, definitely can smell the lime. It smells good. All right, well, I think I'm going to put that back where it came from. The, the fast food anyway, I'll put back over there and then we're going to feed it the other side today and I'll see, I'll put the, the carrots in with that and maybe the addition of microbes will help that break down a little bit. So kind of put that down there. I think we're doing okay on bedding. I can still see bedding and the bin is already pretty full so I'm not going to add any more bedding but I will add some more food for them. I will give them some apple goo since they were kind of in a situation where they were just having carrots and carrots are hard to get out. I'll give them some apple goo. So maybe we'll see a good worm ball there 
uh, next week. Alright, let me see. I also have a, a surplus of uh, ground eggs, etc. So I am going to give them some, some grit, simply because I'm running out of places to put powdered eggshell. Um, they should have had enough with their bedding, but uh, they can always use extra. I don't think you can overdo grit, pretty sure. All right, well, we'll get them buttoned back up, and then we're going to move over to the... We're going to move over to the bin that has more surface area, but has the same volume. This is a five-gallon tote, um, but most of the, the area is vertical. Now we're going to move over to the short bin and see what the worms are doing over there. Got a couple hangers on the lid, not too many. This bin seems to have been much more active. Got some little crawlers. Oh my, that's a lot of springtails. You know, I thought it was the coffee causing all the springtails, but now I'm not so sure. I'll see if I can't get slower video. I'll just go back and forth poking them and maybe we can see more. Okay, enough playing with the springtails. Let's see what the food is doing. I can see the carrots are trying to grow over here. I wonder if you could plant those and you'd get carrots again. If anybody knows, put that in the comments below. Can you plant a carrot that's growing from the top and still get another carrot out of it? How does that work? Okay, so a little bit of a worm ball here. I must have gave them enough food to keep them busy. I think it was the avocados. Those weren't just shells and seeds. Those were actual avocados. So they had quite a bit to eat. It's kind of solidifying into, uh, I don't know, looks all dried out. Yeah, there still seems to be quite a bit of uh, movement on that food, even though the carrots aren't degrading. but the springtails do seem to be end-to-end -end. and yes it's creeping me out in case you're wondering I know that AV's been doing a lot of work to get rid of his mites um, I might have to get some sticky paper or something for the springtails I don't know if they congregate like mites do I think I've seen uh, Tom from Burmy Bag use like uh, paper traps or sticky traps. If anybody knows how to get rid of numerous springtails, this would be the time for my advice. The bed is not too wet. This is a good moisture. But man, oh, here's, what is this? Oh, more limes. I don't know, maybe it's an acidity thing. I don't know. Um, but I, I still feed whatever food there is in my house to feed, basically. That's the story. Um, I'm not going to avoid feeding them any particular kind of food, so if that just means I'm going to have springtails, then I'll, I'll just suck it up and have springtails. But that and I might try the uh, putting some sticky paper in here and try and catch them when they jump or whatever. They will get caught to the tape. So it's a good population in here. Um, this is the ones, you know, the European Nightcrawlers and Red Wiggler only bins are the ones that were not affected by the Wormpocalypse because they were in closed systems. So that's lucky. Their population wasn't, wasn't bothered by it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to bury the old food back in this corner, the, the slower of the food get that all together so I can find it again and then I'm gonna give them some new fast food I think they also have enough bedding so I'm gonna cover cover them up good and then we're gonna give them some apple goo So 
So that'll be some nice fast food for the for the worms. They won't have to worry about trying to get into the the carrots or anything like that. They'll have some good fast food. Um, not going to add any more bedding, but I do have some extra grit laying about. Going to give them a good, generous, a generous helping of that. And then we'll cover it up. Alright, so let's see. That's that's about it for these these guys. So that's it for the Red Wiggler only bins. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.